Hi beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ayola. I am a Nigerian YouTuber based in Dallas. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know you're an answer to prayers. Thank you for always coming back. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you for dropping by. I hope you join the family. Let's get right into the video. The topic today is definitely for everybody, but most especially for international students. First off, I do not know how anybody cope without God. So I'm just going to be sharing a little bit of like struggles and also just letting you know that as an international student, I don't think it's possible to do this thing without God. Like I don't necessarily think it's possible. This is Ayola's views. This is me just sharing my opinions on some things that I honestly think plagues, that's the word, plagues us as, as international students. And coming out of each phase of it, it is very much impossible. And my anchor verse for today is Hebrews 10, 25. It's um, about do not despise the gathering of the brethren. And I'm just going to be wrapping everything I have to say on that anchor scripture. So let's take it away. As an international student, first off, getting here, getting moving from your home country, wherever that may be, to transitioning into this new phase of life is a whole story. Half the time, people cannot even explain it. That's how much of a transition, of a miracle, of a grace that it is. It's not like there is silver or gold here, like most people think. However, it's a chance at something different. It's a chance, I would not necessarily say the grass is greener, on the other side however i would say the grass is greener anywhere that you water it but personally first things first applying for that visa getting that um approval then the financial implications of coming here then getting here first of it is my whole point of view is yes i have family but i can imagine and i have seen people that come here without family without anything and to just come here or wherever it is because the big thing amongst our generation now is japa it's uh, migrating that's like one of the big force that came with this millennial and the gen z's it's about leaving the country a home country and just seeking for a better life or just leaving for whatever reason some people are just basically tourists which works for them personally when i got here i would say if i didn't have the relationships the friendships the community that i had it would have not necessarily been as easy and this community are very infused in my beliefs as a christian so i got here and eventually uh, the people i met i feel like the two things that can really change your path when you move abroad is the first set of people you meet, they either make you or break you because those are the people you hear the advices. Those are the people that you majorly would listen to because those are the resources that you have around you. So if you do not necessarily have company, it is it is very funny how people say, oh, you move abroad and people run away from Christ. I, be, I believe that when you move abroad, that's the time to actually full force actually seek god for yourself because it's a whole new world and the opportunities are endless and that's how much the trials can also be endless however i moved here and i would say that when you move abroad the, one of the first things aside settling down like one of the first things that should be on your list is also finding a community and try your best to find the right ones i know that the church is not um, only a place where everybody there are raising up holy hands and they are like really nice people. However, there are some churches, um, there, are, there are still some people in church that are still great people. Uh, there might be bad people, but there are still people that are great. And just having that fellowship of having somewhere to go to, having people around, having a community can be like a huge game changer in your journey as an international student. What I'm saying is, when you get into the country, I hope you are able to settle in and also find a community like a church, try to belong to a church, a fellowship, whatever that may look like for you. And it's also going to help you in the long run because these people you meet are the people that would be able to help you, take you around. Just generally speaking, they would help you. And it is okay to ask for help. And the best place to do it is in a place where you share similar beliefs, similar faith. 
So I would definitely say do not despise the gathering of the brethren when you move abroad or when you start. So it also applies to not just moving abroad. It also applies to when you make it or when you seem like you finally gotten that which you're looking for. I hope you still hold on to God as much as you did when you were still searching for that thing. Next thing I will also want to talk about is not just church. Find community, find like-minded people. If it's a group of international students that you want to associate with, please do. If it's your um, people that are like above you in class or people that are like natives, I don't think you should streamline yourself to just your countrymen. I feel like you're in a new place and you should be able to mingle with other people. Yes, I do not have, I do not necessarily have um, friends from a lot of race, but I definitely have some friends from India definitely i have um i have like one or two white people so basically i don't have like a very large community especially being an ambivert i do not necessarily i talk yeah all of you can attest to the fact that i'm a man sorrow i talk however i am also not the most chatty when i go out or when i meet people but i would say that you should definitely find a community join one i regret that um i didn't really immerse myself into like a nigerian community of students or um, an african community of students first off because they are not very vocal in my and second of all i am i do not necessarily like have a lot of them as classmates so it's a bit it's fuzzy so when they are having meetings i most likely cannot join that's the only reason but if you are not like me and your situation is not like mine please definitely find those kind of community make friends with people talk to other people especially people of like minds because international transition will test your christian faith so this is Part of the reasons why I say to test your Christian faith because you are not just thinking of your current situation. Yeah, 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 in America, you are also thinking of the future. Oh, what do I do next? Do I want to permanently stay in the country? Do I want to go back to my country? How do I navigate this? You need a lot of information. And these are the group of people that have the wealth of knowledge to help you out. So yes, today's video is not too long. I just wanted to encourage someone and say welcome. I'm glad you now got your visa to wherever it is that you're going to. to. But please don't forget, it is a journey. It is not, it is, it's a race. It's not like a sprint that you end so fast. So please, please, please take your time to mingle. Do not just come here and isolate come here and grow in every aspect of your life and while at it do not despise the gatherings of the brethren okay children of god because this international student journey it would shake your faith but i hope that and i pray that as you hold on to god you will continually have peace and you will meet people that are great and amazing and you would have a journey that will be a testimony to others. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you subscribe. I hope you like this video. I hope you drop a comment. Are you an international student? Are you looking for a community? Whether it's online because you might not be in the same location, let me know. I have a couple of friends I met on Instagram and I am so grateful for those people. So please reach out to me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is in the description box. Don't forget to like, share, drop a comment. Let me know how you're doing and I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Bye.